Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. It's a well-known fact that the shells for Battleship New Jersey move so slowly that even though they're less than a foot and a half wide and five or six feet tall, you can still watch them travel through the sky with your naked eye. So, a question I recently got was, well, how fast do those shells move relative to manned aircraft? But before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsors. In today's episode, we've been talking about aircraft and travel speeds. The sponsor of today's video is Bespoke Post, and they've helped me travel, and not just me, but my Beagle Trooper. Come here, Troop. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join, and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the U.S. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products based on the preference quiz they fill out. They've got awesome clothes, cool stuff for your house, <coughs> camping and cooking gear. Basically, just high quality stuff in every category. They now have a new membership program where you can get really great deals all year round. 30% off or more sometimes. And it's totally free to join. Preview your member shipment before it's sent. You'll get a customized selection of products picked for you, and before it's shipped, you can preview what's inside. Decide if you like it, keep it, swap out products, or skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. For my quiz, I filled out that I'm a pet owner and that I like to travel. So they sent me the Weekender box, which is a travel bag that I can use on my trips visiting other museum ships. They also sent me a Spot box. Spot is a series of gifts specifically for my dog. Like I said, I have a 12-year-old beagle named Trooper. Because he's getting up there in age, we have to watch what he eats. The Spot box comes with organically baked treats that Trooper absolutely loves. It comes with a collapsible water bowl for when he travels with me. And a chew toy called the Bolt Bite. The coolest thing about the Bolt Bite is that it's hollow. Trooper doesn't really play with toys, but I stuff a little bit of peanut butter in there, and then he can't get enough of this. But by far, my favorite thing in the whole package, well, Trooper's favorite was the uh, treats, but my favorite thing is the new leash, which features some nice rope work. Maybe because I put in my quiz that I'm into nautical things. To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, click the link in the description and enter BN Gift at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash bngift. The speeds of aircraft is commonly measured in Mach, or the speed of sound. Around sea level, at a relatively average temperature, the speed of sound is about 770 miles per hour. So, an aircraft that can go Mach 2 can do about 1,550 miles per hour, right? That's the theory I started working on when I looked at the, uh, the speeds of these shells. From a new gun, a freshly rifled gun, a projectile has a muzzle velocity of about 2,500 feet per second, which is about 1,700 miles per hour, or Mach 2.2. But when I started looking at the speeds of aircraft and their miles per hour versus their Mach, it didn't add up. It was saying that they were traveling at uh, higher mocks and lower miles per hour, and I was quite confused. So I started digging into it. Turns out the speed of sound varies based on temperature and altitude. So uh, for most military aircraft, when they say that uh, this aircraft is capable of Mach 1, they're actually talking about uh, a speed of about 660 miles per hour. I originally thought that there was some confusion between knots and miles per hour, and then that math didn't work out because a knot is 1.15. Everybody knows that, but it wasn't mathing out. So 660 is the miles per hour we're looking for, which means that a 16-inch shell fired from a new barrel is going to travel at about Mach 2.6 at altitude. Honestly, it's pretty middle of the road. Uh, some really, really high performance aircraft are faster than the shell, but 
most modern fighter jets are on par with or a little bit slower than the 16-inch shell. Now, the claim is often made that uh, one of the reasons for keeping battleships in service is that you can shoot down an aircraft, but you can't shoot down a shell. Well, why can't you shoot down a shell if it's going roughly the same speed as these fighter bombers that are dropping ordnance? There's a couple of reasons. One, the shell is significantly denser than the aircraft, so most weapon systems, which only have to graze an aircraft to do enough damage to take it down, aren't going to be able to do that to a 16-inch shell. And two, the shell is significantly smaller. Its profile is uh, small enough that you're not going to get a good uh, radar lock on it for being able to engage it. Plus, let's say somehow you do manage to shoot it down, uh, you still have a lot of mass that's going to land on something and no pilot that's being endangered. Modern fighter performance runs the gamut from everywhere from Mach 1.6, as is the case for the uh, F-35 Lightning, as best as we know from unclassified sources, uh, all the way up to Mach 3.2, with the MiG-23 Foxbat, currently the fastest fighter plane in active service anywhere in the world. So the shells with a speed of Mach 2.6 are roughly in the middle of the pack there. Granted, there are relatively fewer high-performance aircraft above the speed of the shell, uh, and many more really close to the speed of the shell. So in current aircraft, like I said, you've got the F-35 at Mach 1.6. Uh, the next slowest is the F-18 Super Hornet at Mach 1.8. It's worth pointing out at this time that, that these speeds are fairly generic, they're unclassified sources, and they are of the aircraft without a weapons load already at altitude. So much like the speed of Mach differs on altitude, the, the speed of these aircraft is assumed to be at altitude without weapons, hard points, and extra fuel tanks and things like that slowing them down. So in actual service, some of these things are going to be going a little bit slower depending on how they're loaded up. Uh, likewise, many of these aircraft are in several different models, and uh, these numbers are just the average, really. Uh, we're not looking at some of the experimental versions that got super high speeds or, or were lower performance because they didn't have the engines that they would eventually be uh, given when they go into full production. The next fastest aircraft on my list is the F-16 Falcon, which can go at uh, just over Mach 2. Uh, Mach 2.05 is what it's listed as. And then above that for American aircraft, you have the F-22. The Raptor is special because she's uh, one of the few aircraft ever made that can go to Mach 1 without going to afterburners and burning a lot of fuel. But it's capable of Mach 2.25, as far as we know based on uh, unclassified sources. That's just a tad slower than the F-15 Eagle, capable of Mach 2.3, which is arguably the best fighter jet ever produced, with more than 100 kills to its name, with zero lost in combat. And then of course, everyone's favorite, and a 1980s contemporary of Battleship New Jersey, the F-14 Tomcat is capable of Mach 2.35 with its folding wings. So all of these aircraft come in just slower than the 16-inch shell. What are some aircraft around the world that can compete with it? Staying with the Americans, the SR-71, the uh, famous Blackbird, which is no longer in use, is the fastest aircraft on this list, able to go at Mach 3.4. Again, as far as we know from unclassified sources. In fact, this aircraft travels so fast that sitting on the runway, it leaks like a sieve because there's so much friction from wind going across it at speed that the plates heat up and expand causing it to seal. So you'd actually launch the aircraft with only a little fuel on it and then refuel in the air while it's moving when the tanks start to seal up. What an incredible aircraft. The Russians have several high-performance aircraft that are able to keep up with American variants and in many cases go faster than them. The Sukhoi Su-27, the flanker, has a top speed of around Mach 2.35. The MiG-31, 
has a top speed around Mach 2.8, making it faster than a 16-inch shell. And even faster than that is its forebearer, the MiG-23 Foxbat, capable of Mach 3.2. My chart only lists the speed of some common contemporary aircraft. In the comment section down below, leave the speed of your favorite aircraft or some uh, really high performance aircraft that we didn't mention. Are you surprised that the 16 inch shells actually go slower than some manned aircraft? It certainly surprised me to see that number, but it makes sense given how people talk about how slow they are. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals, including Bespoke Post. To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, remember to click on the link below and enter BN Gift at checkout. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.